bro. Listen, you guys. Hold up and put some Vaseline coconut oil. <laughs> bro, y'all, what the frick? I want to show you guys my face. Listen. Okay. <gasps> you see it almost? You see how my face is pink? Bro, I got it like a monster. Bro, I'm about to get on here, but let me just show you guys what happened to my face. So, I knew better, but I forgot if that makes sense. Because this happened to me like a year ago. So, this was prescribed to me, right? And I had just came across it cleaning up and stuff like that, right? It's Adapalene and Benzoyl, Prezo Benzoyl Peroxide Gel, right? So, I remember when I used this before, I was told to only use a little bit because it's very potent, bitch. I for totally forgot that shit. Totally forgot. My forehead has been breaking out. One... I'm gonna get to it because it's not just about it's not just breaking out just because it's because of me bitch I ain't been taking care of myself so anyways bitch I put this shit on my fucking face girl but let me just show you guys my face bitch oh my goodness you see that oh my god you see the top of my eyelids like all that's happening for a reason it's just like an allergic reaction I don't think y'all understand I'm about to get close so brace yourself Look at this, like, oh my God, you see my eyelids? Focus, bro. I didn't put Vaseline. I'm about to put some Crisco on my face because I need something thick, bitch. Do you see that? It's like peeling. Oh, wow. Look at my eyelids. <laughs> Girl, I am getting over being sick, but this ain't that. Oh, wow. It's like my face. Girl, I'm about to put on coconut oil, so we, hold on, because I gotta, hold on. Oh my god, bitch, and like, it hurts so bad. Like, it's just tight and right, especially right up in here. Oh, girl. It's like, what the frick? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Apparently, man, this, 2021. I ain't even gonna talk. But this, uh, come on. Ah. Uh, oh my god. So, listen, I know my face is a little greasy. A lot greasy. Y'all gonna find out why in a couple seconds, girl. I burnt my face off, but that's a whole nother thing. Real quick before we start the video, I have something to show you. So, don't shoot the messenger, okay? But 2020 been a stressful year for a lot of y'all, for a lot of us, and a lot of y'all, as a result, don't got no more edges. Really ain't never had no edges to begin with. So let me just tell y'all what y'all need to get on. So what I want y'all to look into is this right here. I'm gonna try to put in some um, better shots of this. Um, when I first recorded this, girl, I was looking a mess. More of a mess than what I'm looking now. Is that my background? So listen, I want y'all to get on this. This is Edge Natural Follicle Enhancer. I'm gonna put some shots of this, but y'all, mm -hmm, you need it. Now, I have edges. There is a little spot right here where this girl, like, years ago, hold up, let me pat myself, years ago, back when, like, kinky twists were a thing, I don't know what she was doing, no offense if you're watching this video, it's love and light, but seriously, what were you doing? Girl, literally, let me show you, it's right here. Oh, you see it. <laughs> you see it, okay? I'm gonna be putting it on up there. It, honestly, y'all seen that, but it actually got a lot thicker, which is sad. But yeah, long time ago, real quick. Girl, she put this kinky twist. Sorry, I just put some um, of my concoction, my um, monostat and sulfur concoction. Look at my forehead, Lord. Anyway, but yeah, right here. Girl, I remember I was, on my way to track and there was this one little piece right up in here that hurt so bad. Girl, I took that kinky twist out. It was like two strands of hair. How did you even do that? Like, and ever since then, girl, that part of my hair ain't been the same. But I still got hair there. But some of y'all don't got hair and I'm not trying to compare so I'm just saying if it worked for me, it could probably work for you. That's all I'm trying to say. But, okay, so a follicle enhancer. It's real cute, real mini, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like two ounces. Let me show y'all how much I've used. So I'm in the process of using this. I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes, but I would definitely recommend because I used it consistently probably for about a week. Not gonna lie, and I did see a difference, but also wasn't really starting with much. So if y'all want, um, especially for my people who like to support black owned businesses, boom, 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 okay. Um, check them out for sure. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. I'm gonna be using this and then also my little concoction because that's just what I'm on right now. I'm taking care of my hair and everything. And yeah, I'll leave everything in the description box below. And yeah, check them out. And then when you use it, 
I'm gonna be using it with you. Y'all know when y'all just get out the shower and it's hot and then you have like baby oil on? Maybe not baby oil, but you know what I'm saying? And you start like sweat. That's kind of what's going on right now. Oh, at this point, I'm just saying the same thing. So just, just look in the description, okay? Has this happened to anybody? It's like my skin is peeling. I knew better. That, ugh. Especially, I can't. That shit I cannot put on specific areas. Like right here, I could put it there. But like the, with the areas where the skin is real thin, I don't know why I was putting it up here. What was I doing? Like I just be. Girl, I'm not about to play. You guys want to see my little flower? Whatever. I thought this one had the most personality. Uh, see it, bitch. It's like a mini succulent. Oh my gosh. Girl, I ain't watered this thing. Oh, 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 I got this. I ain't watered this thing in like a couple days, but it's still going. I know I need to water it, but look at that. That could have been how I was sleeping. Did I fall asleep on my crystal? You see that eye? Girl, this ain't it. <laughs> it's not it. So my face gonna be looking crazy, but it's whatever, bro. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I have to go to work tomorrow. I just thought about that. <sighs> mm. I gotta get my mind right today because the way I'm dreading work, I should not be dreading work that much. I have my reasons, but um, I need to get more on an optimistic wavelength right now. I need to start changing my thoughts because if I keep thinking the way I'm thinking tomorrow, this week is gonna be a bad week, okay? So I'm trying to like get my mind straight, but I know I'm talking in fragments. I just woke up not too long ago. Yeah, no, so where I'm at right now, if somebody wants to join, so first and foremost, um, I was praying to God, cause I've been feeling disconnected lately, um, just in general, like, just like someone, like my friend explained it, just someone pulled out my plug and then it like, and I was like, but that's why I've been taking time to myself. Plus I have a lot of stuff going on on the, um, in my personal or whatever and like different things different responsibilities things i have to take care of um <clears throat> i've been trying to like connect back this month been a little not bad but like a little weird you know it's a lot of stuff about to happen this month supposedly but what was i about to say girl i'm still asleep i am still asleep i don't know i don't know what i was about to say but all i do know is i was talking to god and god told me Literally I said, Lord, I just want to hear you clearly, you know. And I swear, as soon as I said that, he says, Stop drinking caffeine. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> I was like, Okay, Lord, I thought I heard what you said. Because <laughs> listen, I drink, um, <laughs> this is so nasty. I don't do it anymore. Obviously, it's been like three days, you know. Oh, gee, in this bitch, but um, Starbucks, I used to hate Starbucks, but I go to Starbucks every day. I might go to Dunkin' here and there. Starbucks is playing with the cold brew every day. Sometimes even twice a day. Look how bad this is. I'm speaking my truth, though. I will go to Starbucks and or Dunkin', really Starbucks, though. And always, always, always. So funny, because as, as messed up as my face is, this is kind of clear. But <laughs> anyway, always, honey, get a Trenta. <laughs> I get a Trenta, right? Cold brew. I always be like, can I get your largest cold brew? The Trenta <laughs> light ice. Three shots of espresso, right? With a splash of coconut milk. I might do a little almond here and there, but lately coconut milk has been taking me, right? I do that every day. Twice a day. Girl, that's probably why all of this is happening. Iron probably low as fuck. Um, mm, yeah. And I don't know, that that's, girl, that's a lot of coffee. With the Trenta, with the cold brew, and the three shots of espresso, sometimes I get four. Girl, I was doing that every day. So I was talking to God, and God told me, he said, like, you need to fast. Like, I want you to fast. Anytime, oh, girl, I'll be hearing this, man. <laughs> oh, it's just so crazy, so yeah. What is this? Oh. Gosh. Um, yeah, so speaking to God, meditating, and he told me I had to take some time off from caffeine. However, he did tell me I could have tea. Now, I haven't had a bunch of tea. I do detox tea. Me and God, see, that's the thing. When I fast, God be known to, like, transition me. Because, like, the thing about fast, let me just tell y'all. 
I don't know, like just listen to me for a second. How I feel with fast, you can fast off of anything. I mean, there's specific fasts. Um, I know when we did fast for church, we had specific names for fast and stuff like that. And then there were specific names for fast. Like you have the Daniels fast or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But for me, um, I was thinking about it and I was like, it has to be something that I am like attached to. Okay. In a minute, it's about to be social media just for a week, but I'm not too, too attached to social media. I'd be, girl. If I ain't have a YouTube channel, y'all would not freaking see me ever. Like, no one would probably even know who I was. Like, you'd see me in passing, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> I keep zoning out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, um... For me, it's like things I'm addicted to. Things like I would... I'd be like, damn, I need that. I need that every day. That is Starbucks. <laughs> So I told God, I'm like, all right. I was like, but, because I've been needing energy. I'm like, if I want tea here and there, like, you know what I'm saying? Is that okay? He said, yeah. So, yeah. And me and God came to the conclusion that tea is fine. Tea is okay. And, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Girl, I'm freaking zoning out. Like, I need to get up. So this is what I do, or this is what I'm doing. So basically, this is what I'm trying to I'm trying to say. You know, that was a long introduction, but I just talk a lot. I don't give a fuck. So, so basically, what I'm doing is I'm fasting right now. So if anyone wants to join me, I'm doing it for like a week. But honestly, I think this is gonna go past a week because that was just nasty. Like, and then I was forgetting to drink water. Fuck no. Like for the most part, I still drink water. But still, shouldn't nobody be drinking that much goddamn coffee? It don't even do nothing. Like, I would literally drink that with the four shots, three shots of espresso, and I would go to sleep. I'd be so tired. So, like, yeah, no. So, right now, which I'm about to go do right now, I'm focusing on, like, rebooting my body to, like, wake itself up. You know, I don't need to depend on caffeine. It's not just me doing the stuff that I'm doing, working out and stuff like that. It's also, like, mentally, I have to tell myself you don't need that shit because the mind is powerful. So, yeah, I'm about to go make some beet juice. My detox tea, which I don't even think it has caffeine in it anyway, but like my detox tea, I'm about to put some turmeric in there. My vitamin C. <laughs> I'm about to take these iron pills. Bitch, I'm about to get fucking juked up, okay? On supplements this morning. And then I'm about to go work out. So that's another thing. So I'm taking a break. I might be doing a break and y'all let me know. So I want to take, um, I want to fast, right? That's something I had to fast on. Everybody else is different. Like, you got to do what you're addicted to. It has to be a sacrifice. You have to be sacrificing something. That's a sacrifice, bitch, for me. <laughs> so, I got that going. But something else is telling me to take a week, at least, off of social media. If I could, I would do it till, um, which I still might do. I would do it till, I swear, um, till 2021. I swear I would. It'd just be hard when you have a platform and stuff like that. Um, which I really don't have to do shit I don't want to do, but you know what I'm saying? What if I miss a business? Like, what if they write me on Instagram and I miss this? Or what if I miss that? And then I'm trying to see when I'm going to bring back the tarot, but, um, I know God, my guys, my ancestors, guardian angels, because we have been connected, honey. That's a whole nother story I got to tell y'all, man. I got to tell y'all, but anyway, they let me know. Until I get, like, my health and stuff together, I'm not doing readings, which won't take that long. But basically, they just want me to get back on routine with the stuff I was doing, like working out and stuff like that, take care of myself, stuff like that. But even if they didn't, I wanted, that's what I need to do. So did I say what I'm doing? Lord, walking in circles. But basically, I'm fasting off the caffeine right, and then um, I'm working out. So if I do do this social media fast, I know for a fact I am not touching shit. I don't go to work and stuff, but I'm not touching nothing with social media. I'm not touching nothing with uh, anything. Like anything that's gonna stress me out or cause me to have to um, communicate with other human beings outside of my job here at the military, I'm not doing it. I don't know what I'm talking about y'all on this vlog. Just go with it, you know what I'm saying? Just go with it, but um, <clears throat> In regards to spirituality, like, let me know what kind of videos you guys want. People ask me questions a lot, and it's it's not that I don't want to answer people. Um, it's just, it's hard to pinpoint. Like, if someone wants to ask me, like, you got to narrow the questions down. If someone wants to ask me, like, can you discuss your spiritual journey? Woo! Like, that's a lot. Like, what? That's a lot. It's deeper than 
oh, I have crystals. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny, but seriously, people think they got crystals, they got incense and all this stuff, and now you're spiritual. Like, it's deeper than that. Like, I'm talking about, like, movement in life, things that I've seen, things that I went through, like, healing, like, ancestral pain, having to, like, face myself, still having to do that shit, struggling with that. Like, my spiritual journey has been, because at the... <sighs> It's almost like when you, and I'm probably talking in circles right now. I did just wake up, don't mind me. But you know how like when you're in a position and you get to a higher position, but with that higher position, more responsibilities come, sometimes more chaos. It's like that with the with the journey as well. It's beautiful, but you ascend, like you should be ascending, hopefully. You know, everybody's on a different journey. Um, but once you know you get those lessons in order, pass those tests, release them karmic motherfuckers you know what i'm saying i mean everybody you know it's all love and light with the karmics but um you ascend it's just more it's a lot that comes with the it's, it's a lot that comes with the shit okay it's not all roses and butterflies but it's beautiful you get what i'm saying it's like all it's beautiful and the same but it's so much like it's it's more to all of this shit and uh some stuff is personal you know what i'm saying with my journey some stuff I can't even, like, I, I would have to go back. It's so much. It started so long ago. Like, this is an everyday thing. This is life. My spiritual awakening is life. This is life for me. It's not like a one minute, one minute. No, it's like once it happens, it's it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. So, I'm trying to find ways to incorporate that in my videos. Not just that. I like people to, I want to guide people, but I also want people to feel present in their own journey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got guidance from people as far as like, I might watch a video and learn about this, like, you know, where it might come to me or like ascension. If someone said ascension, gosh darn it, are you gonna, are you gonna fucking focus? But if someone said like ascension to me or if there's certain words like I'm not really familiar with, I might look them up and then like I do my research from there. That's just a, a little example. That probably makes sense. But you know what I'm saying? Your spiritual journey is your spiritual journey. So I try to shy away from telling people like what to do because literally this is like a trial and error type of thing like i can't even explain to you how this goes it's just it's just going okay it just goes like i don't know it's crazy but it's 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 beautiful you know does that make sense but i don't know y'all have oh, uh, if y'all have ideas of how i should break it down or possibly talk about it open discussions like you know let me know. I'm trying to talk about it. I want to tell you guys without getting overwhelmed. Because, you know, when you have so much in your head that you want to discuss, and then when it comes out, it comes up out jumbled. I want it to be, like, clear cut. I mean, it's never going to be clear cut with the healing journey. But, you know what I'm saying? I want to discuss it. One thing I'm also trying to work on, which y'all been seeing me do, because I am fucking sexy, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to be nicer to myself. I'm trying to, like, I'm a very caring person. You get what I'm saying? I'm a very giving person. Um, and I, it was in one of my readings, too, and it makes so much sense. I think lately, and this is also part of the reason, I mean, I have other stuff going on. But this is also part of the reason why I took a break from readings. Um, I feel like what I'm putting out into the world, which is beautiful, like, I'm putting a lot out into the world, into people, um, even other relationships, platonic or even um, romantic, whatever. I put a lot out, but I don't really receive back. You get what I'm saying? Or if I do receive back, it's like the the put out and the receive is not on the same. We need to balance the scale. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm balancing the scale, I'm taking my break. Whatever I put out, I'm, you know, keep that, you know, great energy. That's cool. But you get what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to like... It's like I'm not the receiving end. I don't know. The put out is not as loud as the, the get back. Okay? You get what I'm saying? So that's what we're trying to like balance right now in life. Um, because when it is like that, anytime there's an imbalance, like I'm trying to get my yin yang going. My masculine feminine energy, just my all all of my all of everything. I'm trying to get back into my yin yang, you get what I'm saying? Even my masculine and feminine energy. I'm trying to get more into the receptive end right now. I'm like, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm super masculine. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I have masculinity about me. I'm a go-getter. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm balancing the scales. 
So yeah, that's kind of what I'm focusing on too, but also just being kinder to myself, like saying nice things to myself in the morning. It's so crazy because you'll say such nice things to other people, such uplifting words, but really ask yourself, do you talk the same way to other people the way you do to yourself? Girl, I be going in on me. Like, I be going in on me. And I need to stop because there's a lot of stuff that I've said. Like, even with my weight, I'll call myself fat. Girl, why did I start getting fat? Literally, and I wasn't even eating or nothing like that. So I'm like, let me stop fucking saying shit. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta watch what you say about yourself. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on that too. Just being nicer to myself. Just giving back to myself. Whatever I put out, I give back to, to me. And right now, it's just really me giving to me right now. Um, so that we can balance these scales and then move forward from there. You feel me? That's another thing. So there's something I had a dream about. And I know I'm supposed to tell you guys about it. Um, I mentioned it a little bit. So I don't know if y'all know, but I be taking like mugwort. Um, I mean, that's probably not the reason why I had this dream. I have vivid dreams already, but, like, that's supposed to help you lucid dream. Um, and things like that. And I ain't gonna lie, I took more than a teaspoon. I probably took, like, a table. I'm not gonna lie. So, whoo, I was paying for that shit when I went to sleep, honey. I was, bruh, I was seeing in the future. Like, I want to say I was seeing Jesus, but I didn't want nobody to get offended. Because <laughs> I was in another dimension on that shit, you know what I'm saying? But... Um, there was a dream I had that I wanted to uh, kind of tell you guys about. Um, so just be careful with people. That's what I'm trying to like be aware of too. Some people really don't mean it, but all in the same, it doesn't matter whether they mean it or not. If it's happening, you got to like cut them the fuck out or like put a boundary up. We talked about this in one of my videos. I had this dream. Um, it was super vivid and it was leeches. Literally never even seen a leech a day in my life, but leeches, that's so crazy because there's so many animals, bugs, insects that I've never seen in life, but I'm able to recognize them during my dream. I just saw one of them on the, on the clock. Um, but in my feet and in my upper leg, like almost going up to my knee, there were like leeches, but closer to my feet, coming out of my skin. I'm talking about like holes and like coming out of my skin like I'd be literally like I can see it now like the little black oh slimy things and I was literally grabbing at them like grabbing at them grabbing at them and it's like more kept coming out of these little places in my skin but they were all on my feet and it would be like little spaces not like fully covered but you get what I'm saying it'd be like five six of them and every time I pull them out and pull them out and pull them out more kept coming whoo girl so I woke up in the morning honey you know I looked that up and you know what it talked about? Energy motherfucking vampires, bitch. Mm -hmm. It told me somebody or something or the environment that I'm in is draining my energy. I'm telling you that shit is real. So, like, I know that that was for me for sure. But I also feel like that could have been for somebody else. So be careful of the people that you're around. It's not even just sometimes the people. It's also the environment that you're in. Sometimes you got to clear things out, clear stuff around, move objects around, feng shui, okay? Like, there's a lot of things that I'm just getting into so I can, like, clear myself, clear my energy, and be more aware of who, who's around me. Like, I'm very much starting to be more in control of who, who's around me. I don't care if I'm a YouTuber or not. Like, I told y'all, like, with that one lady. who I'm trying to think about it. But it's so much details that I didn't even tell in regards to that story. But it was like... And she knew what she was doing because she would even be like, oh, like, I know I'm doing too much. Like, I know I'm doing it. You know? And you still, you gonna keep on keeping on. Okay, girl. Like, ooh. It's so much more to that story, but I try not to be, you know, an asshole. But I'm telling y'all, like, and that was an energy vampire. Sucking the life out of me. Literally. Even from a distance. You gotta cut them people out. You got to cut the people out, block the people out. People can only do what you allow them to do. Strengthen your yourself. Strengthen your um, energy field, your aura, like, your light. Expand that shit, okay? And block that the motherfuckers out, I'm telling you. Mm. But that dream, I was like, what is that? First, I thought I was sick or something. Because um, I had this dream in the, in the past about some stuff. We'll talk about that. But at first, I thought I was sick. I might do a video on that, too. Like, my dreams. My dreams are something crazy. My dreams are like... Okay, like, whoo, they already vivid and so many things come to my dream. Prophetic dreams, I'm pretty sure, like, I have all that shit. Like, that, that's been a thing since I was little. But yeah, y'all, be careful these motherfuckers around you, okay? <laughs>